Hey, what's up guys? Rex here, and we're back again with another video for you guys. And this video is going to be a tutorial on how to set up DX Story with the best settings. And, um... So this is what I use for recording Minecraft. Uh, I use two different things for one for Cube World, one for Minecraft, <clears throat> and that's because um, there are, if I want to do a 1080p video, it's a little bit different than uh, getting a 720p video in Minecraft. So right here in the first page, um, there'll be like an, a, a setting, like a target. And a target um, comes up when you start like Minecraft or Cube World, and it'll automatically detect it. You can also set um, ignore settings, so you can set what programs you don't want to have um, with the little numbers on the top um, top left. Um, here, you can change what color your your uh, stuff is, and if you want this in your top top corner, if you want video FPS, if you if you do this, um, if you write file FPS. Uh, it'll show like in like the the uh, files information section what uh, FPS it's recorded at. I think, um, and uh, yeah, it's these are just colors that I, I changed mine to red because it's more noticeable than orange. But yeah, all right. So one major thing to do before you uh, start recording is you go into your folder section and you click this little add folder button and um, you want to go to your desktop or wherever you made the folder I have my own folder called recording and that's where I put all my recording files in there and once here I'll just add one in as a um, test so add that in and then you click this benchmark button then click run and this will take a little bit but it'll um, it'll test how fast your hard drive is um yeah so if you use like a recording if you use like a different hard drive for recording uh set the folder to a folder in that ter in that hard drive uh well my computer just started up so this is um this is a really low number usually it's around 60 um that's what i have it 65 or other thing but yeah and then you click okay and i'm just gonna delete this because i don't need it but that's where you want that to be. And there's going to be a few different buttons here on the uh, hotkey. Uh, I only use uh, the capture, the F12, and K, because uh, I take screenshots in um, Cube World. Uh, and in this movie section, there's a lot of stuff, so don't get too, don't get too ahead of yourself. Um, don't be scared. Uh, so in the codec, I have a logarith lossless codec, so if you want that, just Google it. The DX Story video codec is really good too. Um, just makes uh, this just makes a little bit smaller files because I don't have a huge hard drive. Um, but yeah, this is um, I keep my frame rate at 30 FPS. That's the FPS the videos on YouTube are. So that's that's all you need. If I record like a time lapse or whatever, uh, I put it on to 10 so it's smaller file size because I'm gonna speed it up anyway. But uh, yeah, in the clipping you don't want any clipping um, margin. You don't want any margins. So, um, this is a pretty important part. So, um, depending on what your resolution of your computer is, uh, like your monitor, um, that's what you want this to be. If, I mean, I have it scaled down to size because I usually, ha I'm usually playing on full screen and it says F, or it'll, it'll be full screen, which if I record without the scale scaling, it'll be 1920 by 1080. And that's good for Q world, but not good for Minecraft. So. Yeah, and so this is just my Minecraft settings. So I have it at 1280 by 720. That's the it's HD in, uh, yeah, it's HD. <laughs> so um, here I have uh, my settings. Um, so to find the uh, the best thing for the microphone, um, you want to right click on your speakers at the bottom right, and go to recording devices. You want to scroll down and right click on your your microphone that you're using, go to properties, and go to advanced. And in this default format, you want to pick the best quality. I have uh, I have um, <clears throat> pretty good mic. This is this is a uh, Blyetti and it records at 48,000 hertz, which is pretty good. So once you have that selected, you want to go and add in your mic uh, your 
audio stream uh, of your microphone and then you want to go to PCM and then you want to scroll down until you see your setting uh, my setting selected here so it's pretty simple and this one over here is just speakers uh, that records like game audio Skype conversations and everything like that and I just have that in the same Hertz so it's not contradicting each other um, screenshot I don't really mess with anything here uh, any of these advanced settings, if you know what they are, you can change them. Uh, processing threads, I know what that is. Um, if you have like a quad-core processor like me, you could turn it up to use all, all things, and yeah, it's not that, not that helpful. But I, I actually want this limit video FPS at 60 because my monitor is 60, and it would just make more sense to have it at 60. Uh, any of this is not really that helpful. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this. Um, this is probably the best recording software uh, out there on the market today. Uh, it is pretty expensive um, for recording software, uh, but um, for apps, it, it makes too big of files compared to this. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, um, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, Spin Rexa, peace out.